All right, thanks, Brian. An all-new series sets sail Sunday on Discovery Channel. It's called Survive the Raft. It follows nine strangers in the Pacific Ocean as they work together to survive. Host and former Seahawk Nate Boyer joining us live with a look at what we can expect. Nate, thanks for being with us this morning. Of course. It's good to be back in Seattle virtually anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, this show is actually a social experiment, I'm told. So tell us the idea behind it. Yeah, so it's based on uh, an actual social experiment that occurred 50 years ago. Uh, an anthropologist named Santiago Genovés put uh, 10 people on a raft, and they floated from the Canary Islands in Spain to Mexico. Uh, the trip took 101 days, and these 10 people who come from all walks of life, various backgrounds, you know, very diverse, politics, religion, um, you name it, you know, it couldn't be more different. And they were forced to come together and survive this trip, right? And and find ways to sort of put aside their differences uh, and and just get through it. And we rec rec recreated this now 50 years later. Um, we're down in the Pearl Islands in Panama, um, but we brought these nine Americans with very different backgrounds uh, onto this, this raft and they're floating uh, in the Pacific there for 21 days. And there's different challenges that occur and they've got to, you know, they're out there trying to win money, of course. And, you know, it's a competition series in a sense, but the social aspect, that social experiment aspect sort of rose above everything, you know, and, you know, these people who typically would go about doing something a certain way, and I'm only going to, you know, uh, talk to these people in my silo and all that, they're forced out of that. And that's what makes it really special. And you get to see the true colors come out and these people grow over this experience. And, you know, I gotta be honest, I grew a bit myself. So it was really cool uh, to be a part of that. And I'm, I'm excited for the world to see it now. Yeah, you mentioned it is a competition after all. So what's at stake if this team decides to turn on each other? <laughs> well, um, you know, you might go home with nothing. And beyond that, you got millions of people uh, seeing you uh, do this, you know what I mean? So like understanding uh, those kind of things are at stake and also the opportunity that's before you uh, to inspire people. You know, are you are you willing, what's more important to you? You know, being right and sticking to your guns and digging in uh, or is it opening your mind a bit and maybe being willing to to change and be vulnerable? Uh, I think that 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 as you'll see, as we get to watch this unfold together, um, there's a lot of surprises. Those who we maybe thought would do well in this scenario, maybe not as much. And those we thought there's no way they're gonna break out of you know, who they are. They're too strong of a personality. And you see them let go of some things and really uh, grow and change. And it's, it's, it's special. So it's, it's, that's what sets it apart from, you know, I, I, I think a, a typical a show such as this, where it's like, well, they're out there, of course, they're just trying to win money or they're just trying to be famous or whatever that is. And we see that that's not the case, like these people uh, are just trying to be people, you know, they're trying to be human beings and, um, and, and, you know, we get to watch, uh, this growth and, and it's something that's a, it's an important message, I think, for our country and the world, uh, and something that I'm very, very proud to be a part of. Well, we're looking forward to it. I only have you for about a minute left here, but because you were a former Seahawks, Seahawks training camp, just getting underway. What's your thoughts on the team this year? Man, I, I mean, I'm always excited. I, so I grew up a 49er fan. You know, which is really tough because my opportunity came in Seattle, you know, so uh, I, but, but, you know, I love, uh, you know, I love that team. I love to see, you know, those guys battling out there and the way that, you know, John Schneider, uh, the GM and, and Pete Carroll, obviously the head coach, um, really good uh, friends of mine, and I'm always going to be big supporters and they've supported, you know, MVP, Emerging Vets and Players, our charity. We have a chapter up there. Um, they've always been behind that and that's super cool. So I'm excited for them. Uh, also, though, to watch this show, I know John's going to watch it. I'm going to make Pete watch it as well, um, because I think it would be valuable to their locker room. You know, I mean, you talk about a football locker room, all different walks of life, uh, and these people got to come together, and they've done it before. Obviously, I mean, they won a Super Bowl, and that I think that speaks to the culture that that uh, uh, the, you know that Schneider and uh, and Coach Carroll have developed up there. And you know, I'm always excited. I mean, a new season when football rolls around, it's my favorite time of the year. That's interesting. It does sound like there's some parallels there. All right, Nate Boyer, former Seahawk and host oh. of Survive the Raft. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Of course, my pleasure. Thank you, guys.